So I thought today what I would talk about is how you can get a graphical session running on a compute node on Myriad and then use that to do some interactive work. Right. So if you've seen my other talks, you'll know that the normal way you interact with RHPC systems through a batch scheduler. Um, and that comes, you know, that's very good for work where you kind of know what you're doing. Uh, when you're doing stuff in production at scale. But if you wanted to exploratory work at a reasonable size, you could run it on the login nodes, but that will often result in you getting into a little bit of trouble if you use too much resources. What you can do is request an interactive job on a compute node. To understand how this works, you need to understand a little bit about how um, graphics works in Linux. So, and this is a very long sort of legacy thing, uh, on your computer, on Linux or on a Mac, or if you've installed XE on Windows or XMing or any of those things, you have an application called an X server. And applications that you run are called clients and they connect to it and use it to display graphics. And that's quite a nice architecture because that connection doesn't have to be just be on a local computer, but it can be across a network. So that means you can run an application on a remote computer and have its graphical output be displayed on your machine as if it's running on your machine. There are obviously security issues with this. Um, so usually that's kind of blocked off, but you can access it securely through a thing called X-forwarding. Um, so let me bring up a terminal. Uh, I shall bring it up in this Rocky install. There we go. So this is common enough. There's actually a set of flags to enable an SSH. So when you do SSH, you do SSH minus Y. So you've got two options. You could do minus X, which if your machine is set up correctly, so if you have a default install of OpenSSH or if you have a Mac or Windows machine, um, there's a sort of more secure mode where you do minus capital X, uh, but lots of things don't work. And I want to run MATLAB here. MATLAB definitely doesn't work. Uh, there's a less secure mode called minus Y. This gives uh, your running application a bit more access to your display server. Um, but we need that to make MATLAB work. So you do SSH minus Y, and then you do the name of the machine you log into. Um, for my convenience, I have an environment variable set called Myriad Login, which is the, actually I'll just print it so you can see, it is just the host name and user ID for Myriad. I guess it's minus Y. And so what this has done is set up an SSH connection to Myriad. Right, and it's also forwarded to the X Windows display here, which means I can do things like I can run graphical applications. So there's a very basic and fairly old terminal called Xterm. If we run that, so rather than being inside my terminal window, this is now like a real window on my desktop that I can drag around. Right. Uh, this is where it's useful to know that if you put the AND behind a command, that drops the process to the background. That means you get your terminal back so you can do more things, right? So I can launch multiple terminals. You get some errors here because we have, I have a slightly different display setup from what the what Mirrored is expecting because there are different versions of the operating system, right? But it means you can run windowed applications like this. That's great. That means you can run graphical stuff in the login nodes. But as we said, we don't really want to do that because in doing that, we might consume a lot of resources. So. We, what do we do? So you might remember from our documentation that we um, have a tool called QRSH, which gives you an interactive session to a job. And thanks to some hard work by my team many years ago, when you do that, if you have X Windows forwarding turned on your SSH session, it also forwards that. Um, so let's do that. Uh, QSH. Let's ask for um, forty. Let's say four gigs per core. Uh, a couple of hours, LHRT equals two. Uh, so we got PE, SMP. Let's ask for 12 cores. Uh, anything else we need? I don't think so. Do minus now. No, so it doesn't kill it, it doesn't get an immediate response from the scheduler. And let's wait for that session to start up. Right, so that job has started. We've been allocated node J00A002. Um, and now we've been tracked the session. The main difference being that we now have X Windows X11 forwarding coming all the way back from the computer that that is running on, all the way back to our desktop. So we can, for example, run 
a graphical terminal, so we've got an X term. Right. So now this terminal, the actual, not just the text part, but the graphical part is running on the remote node and being sent back over the network through a secure tunnel to my machine. So you can see all the processes that I'm running at the moment, right? I'm just running bash, the X term, its own bash, and each top. Right. Let's start another terminal and then use that to start MATLAB and run our little Monte Carlo Pi example from before. So if I do module load uh, xorg utils MATLAB, hopefully, I believe that should be a nice modern version of MATLAB. Yes. So if you now go into my scratch folder, uh, into the folder, okay, so this demo on my MATLAB. I should see it start up over here. There we go, it's MATLAB. Uh, we can open that. And again, this is this MATLAB GUI is running on the remote machine, right? So all the graphics are being pulled back to me, all my clicks and typing is being sent to it through the tunnel. Uh, we all recognize this from a previous video. It just defines this function and then does a parallel loop uh, to define the number of samples. Uh, sorry, to the parallel loop of the samples, generates a bunch of random values for pi and then uh, prints out a value. If we do that, we do. We'll do it for a very small sample size first of all because the first thing I want to do is start this being Mount Lab, we want to start up the parallel work because that takes a lot of time. There you go. See so we've got these nice GUI prompts. And again, these processes are all running on that compute node. Um, inside the bubble that's created for our job in C groups. <laughs> It's the pool set up. So it says 34 seconds, but that's because it was um, setting up the pool. If we now actually run it on you know, a large number of samples, it's now much quicker. Um, and if we make this window a little bit smaller, um, you can see all the processes in the MATLAB runs here, so some of these would be the parallel workers, right? Uh, if we run this for another couple of factors of 10 in there, you'll see uh, here our processes start up and start consuming process of time. Calculation okay, takes about 10 seconds and finishes. And then you just exit as normal. Again, there's a little bit of lag as you can see when you're doing this stuff. And then log out. And that's the accession turn torn down. So that's how you run graphical applications on a computer node.